I don't know if you all used to do, but we used to fold up the match. And you, you put your thumb on the fold apart and you flick it against the striker and it flies as a flame through the air. Oh, we, we figured out how to do this when we fall five, some of our shoulders, and we're flicking matches. And we flicked one on the side of a little plastic receptacle can. Mm -hmm. And the bag in there started to melt and smoke. And I'm four and I see smoke, I automatically, the duck has got to mean fire. And if there's smoke in the house, then my deduction, my reasoning said that the whole house is on fire. So as a four-year-old, I go tell my daddy, 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 the house on fire. Because I don't want the house to burn down. My family's in here. I tell him the house is on fire. My dad puts the little can out. And what y'all doing? It's me and Junior, my brother Junior. His, my father's name site. We were flicking matches. Anger, anger takes root in my father. Immediately he takes off his leather belt and he whoops my five-year-old brother to the point that the belt actually cut through the muscle of his legs. And when my mother saw that, she came in the room and saw that her five-year-old son was bleeding because her husband was beating him with this belt for setting the house on fire. She stopped him. She took the beating for me, and I got away. She became the, the object of his anger now. So my brother got a beating and my mama got a beating, but I was sitting there flicking matches with my elder brother, and I went and told, but I got away scot-free, and that's all my brother ever saw, was that I got away. So from the age of five until the age of 17, he hated my guts. So we stabbed each other, and we beat each other with bats, and we were never friends up until like eight or nine months before he died. Um, so, broken relationships, all kind of other trauma, et cetera, leads to individuals having dysfunctional skills, dysfunctional coping skills, and having antisocial mentalities, having criminal mentalities. People aren't just born this way. So, when individuals come out of incarceration and you're fighting to help them become a functioning member of society. Well, it wasn't incarceration that made them become unfunctional or dysfunctional in society. It was something way far back, maybe not way far back, but something prior to incarceration. And that has to be kept in mind. But what environment are you going back to? My eldest brother, it's, it was three boys and one girl. And it's me and my elder brother, we're still here, my little sister, we've only lost one. But my elder brother, he told me years before I was ever released, and he, he finally saw me after nine years of being locked up, he ended up getting locked up. And I was able to facilitate to where he came to the same institution, we was in the same cell, and he was able to see the man that I was, and he told me, he said, you can't go back home. He said, bro, you can't go home. You don't fit in anymore. You got a, uh, tissue, please. The, um, he told me I couldn't go home because I, I was no longer part of what was my home. Despite how dysfunctional your family is, your family is your family. You all love and hate your family, but your family is what you are. And he told me I no longer belong. Not that I didn't belong, but I didn't fit in. So that was a blessing, but it was a curse. You know, so in a way, that was to say that he was happy the fact that I didn't fit in anymore. Not just my family unit, but the environment, the family friends, the cousins, the neighborhood. You didn't fit in anymore. Change had came about. But anyway, pardon me for that one. Um, like I said, people, didn't just, people aren't just born the way they are. You have all these, all these small things to add to. And if you can encourage your participants to understand that you have to, just like they develop over a course of time into an individual, in my case, I developed from small deposits of anger and abandonment and et cetera, et cetera, into an individual that could commit an act of violence without remorse. 
into an individual that could flip a switch and not care in a heartbeat. I developed into that one small degree at a time. You have to convince your participants to understand that, look, you got to participate in adding something else to your environment, to your world, one small degree at a time that will make you less likely to participate in drug use, less likely to participate in drug selling or in violence or in stealing or whatever, you know. That it's not just a, I got a new job and I'm free now, I'm a new man, I got a new life. No. You got to build a new life one small degree at a time. You have to become a new individual, a new man or woman, one small degree, one small turn at a time. So, um, that's just a little bit of back history. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, uh, I know we kind of went deep there, so uh, it was try to it's try to bring it back up. <laughs> I'm participant right. related. Um, anybody like any particular issues, questions, concern about some particip some <coughs> some of your participants that you may want to ask that you may not have asked them, or any comments about what would it look like to do something you may be interested in doing, you know. I have a question. You use the phrase cutthroat maniac. What's that? Cutthroat maniac? Uh-huh. Who's that? Heard, that was way earlier. That's a cutthroat maniac. I don't remember saying cutthroat <laughs> maniac. But, okay, but I don't... I don't know exactly, because I can't remember me using okay. that word, but if... I don't know if I did what I was in reference to. Um, I remember saying that, you know, my father did what he did mm -hmm. because it's what he understood to do. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's the techniques, the coping skills, the um, it was the defense mechanisms and everything that he had developed over the course of a lifetime that allowed him to respond to his kids and his wife and his world and environment the way he did. I myself, in turn, was able to respond to my world, my life, the way I did because I had... Taught, I have been taught to respond to things this way. I've been 